So in last week's video, you would have seen how I did this eye makeup look. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I completed this flawless base using all Holy Grail Cosmetics brushes. So if you'd like to see how I completed this look, then please keep on watching. Holy Grail were kind enough to send me their brand new brush kits. They were also kind enough to give me a discount code. So if you use the discount code ELLACROMY in one sentence, I'll leave it on the screen somewhere, you are able to get 15% off your purchase. As you can see, I've already done my eyes. In today's video, I'm just focusing on the base using using the holy the new holy grail face brushes kit or well, the face brush kit um so in today's video i'm going to be using all holy grail brushes and i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to be showing you how to get a flawless base using them so if you'd like to see how i get a flawless base then please keep on watching so first of all i start off by priming my face i just use a moisturizer i feel like when you have a moisturised and hydrated base, I feel like it creates a really good canvas for... I feel like just, yeah, it really creates a really good canvas for your foundation to go on. Okay, so the first brush that I'm going to be using to apply my foundation is the Holy Grail Base Brush... The Holy Grail Base Buffer Brush and I'm just going to be putting some of my foundation on the back of my hand and just using this brush um, to blend it in. Mm, this makes it go on really, ooh, I like that. I'm not normally a, um, a brush type of gal for my base, but I'm actually really liking this, and that's not a lie. Yeah, I'm normally, I normally, if you've seen my other videos, I normally always use a beauty blender, but this is actually going on like really flawlessly. We can break apart the some concealer oh, no. and I'm just going to put this under my eyes down my bridge of my nose on my forehead a little bit on my chin and my cupid's bow So for this, I'm actually going to take an eye brush again. I'm just going to take my fluffy, blah, blah, my fluffy, I can't talk, my fluffy blender from the eye kit, and I'm just going to blend these in. I don't want to get with you, so tell my friends that I'll be over here. Oh, oh here, oh, oh here. I thought it said sculpting crush. The sculpting brush, so it's just an angled brush. I'm just gonna pack a bit of this translucent powder underneath my eyes. 
social pessimist But usually I don't mess with this And I know you mean only the best And your intentions aren't to bother me But honestly, I'd rather be Somewhere with my people We can kick it in just distance it's Then to set my face, I'm taking the powder brush It's how we plan to take over the planet So pardon my manners I hope you'll understand that I'll be here Not there in the kitchen with the girl who's always gossiping about her friends Or tell them I'll be here Right next to the boy who's throwing up cause he can't take So to contour I'm going to take my flat contour brush And grab my contouring shade Yeah, because these brushes, because these brushes are normally quite dense and they're all tightly compacted, they normally do budge my foundation. But this one is definitely not. Which is amazing. It's gonna pop a little bit on the sides of my nose and on the tip. a little bit of colour because I feel like sometimes you take away all the colour in your nose that you but I don't know you don't naturally have colour in your nose obviously but like I feel like sometimes when you put foundation powder all that sort of stuff on it you've taken the shape away from it and you've got to give it a bit of colour back into it I think unless you don't like your nose I mean my nose isn't the best nose in the world but I feel like I need to put a bit more colour I need to feel like I need to put a bit of colour on it so for bronzer I'm going to take my holy grail tapered powder brush so it's just a yeah tapered brush tapered big fluffy brush and I'm just going to pop some bronzer on the brush and put that on my cheeks this is just like a bigger version of the eyeshadow brushes just blends everything together mm. Just to give myself a bit of a glowy bronze as well, I'm just going to take a little bit of a shimmery bronzer over the top. Again, on the same brush. Mm. Amazing. Just a little bit of my forehead also. For blush, I'm going to take the... I keep going to say the products, but I'm using the brushes. I don't care about the product. For the... For blush... For blush, I'm taking the blush brush and just popping onto the apples of my cheeks and blending it back. That's the time, because I need to go to the gym. Get this fat ass off the seat and get to the gym, girlfriend. So this is one of my one of the brushes I was most excited about when I saw the video they posted on Instagram. So this one, um, the other one of my other favourites was the Flat Definer from, is it the Flat Definer? Let me double check that. Yes, the Flat Definer from the Eye Kit. But this one is the highlighting brush. I am obsessed with this type of highlighting brushes. I used to love, <coughs> oh my god, my voice is coming again. Oh my god. <coughs> I used to be obsessed with like fan brushes and stuff, but these are my new favourite and I'm so glad they brought one out. I'm like... So I'm just going to grab a highlighter and pop this on the high points of my high points on my cheeks. Why am I here? Oh, oh, here? Oh, oh, here? Oh, I ask myself what am I doing here? I'm actually going to use, grab some of that highlighter on the highlighting brush again. I'm just going to pop some on my collarbones. Because we can never have enough highlighter on. Okay, so this is the finished base. I am just going to pop some lipstick on and you will see the completed look. <laughs> Thank you.
you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.